Hey, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Joe from Grindhouse Grotto and tonight I want to talk about one of my favorite TV series and that is AMC's The Walking Dead. I've been following The Walking Dead since 2010 now. I'm a super fan of the series. Um, last couple seasons I've been kind of disappointed with it. Uh, there's some things that I think have some merit. I do enjoy some of the episodes, but for the most part, I feel like the savior Negan arc that's been going on for the last two seasons has really killed, it's pretty much killed the show for me. Uh, I, I find it really hard to get excited about The Walking Dead now. Um, so we've all probably heard this. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead, you've heard the news. Andrew Lincoln's moving on from The Walking Dead. It hasn't been confirmed yet from AMC, but... All sources are indicating that Andrew Lincoln's moving on. He's basically signed on for six episodes. And then at some point in the season, they're either going to kill off his character or they're going to somehow write him off but kind of leave him open if he wants to come back to the show. Um, if they're going to do that, honestly, it'd be cool for them to leave his character open to return. But I think that'd be really shitty writing. So I think to, to kind of come to a conclusion with this character, really the only way to do it would be to kill off his character, which is really sad, but if they're gonna, if he's not gonna be on the show anymore, they gotta have some kind of conclusion to it. But anyways, what I want to talk about tonight is some, some, some groundbreaking, I mean, within the last few hours, they released some earth-shattering news. John Bernthal, who played Shane in seasons one and two, is making a return to The Walking Dead. Now, this got me excited, okay? This got me excited to the point where I wanted to make a video. And I'm not an ultra fanboy of The Walking Dead. I love The Walking Dead. I'm not following every little tidbit of news. But when it came up on my timeline on Facebook that John Bernthal was returning for Season 9, I had to go online, do a little bit of research, and find out what was going on. So I want to share with you all this news article that I found real quickly. Let me read this all for you. Yeah. Of course, you got to have all these uh, advertisements. All right, so this is from Hollywood Reporter. Is At 1.03 p.m. Pacific Time, they reported that, and I quote, Walking Dead, John Bernthal to return to season nine. And it says, The Punisher star will reply, reprise his role as Shane just in time for Andrew Lincoln's exit. With the stage set for original star Andrew Lincoln's departure, The Walking Dead has plans to mark the occasion with another familiar face from the past. John Bernthal will return to the AMC zombie drama for an episode in the upcoming ninth season. <clears throat> the Hollywood Reporter has confirmed. The actor played former police officer Shane Walsh in the first two seasons of the show, Outlast and comic book version of his ill-fitted character, who did not survive the first arc of Robert Kirkman Penn series. Now I'm going to skip forward a little bit. The exact circumstances of Bernthal's return remain unknown, though the decisiveness of Shane's death rules out a flesh-and-blooded return, as at least in the present timeline. At least in the present timeline. That got me curious, okay? As The Walking Dead frequently deals in flashbacks, and even the occasional flash-forward, it feels like that Bernthal will appear in a scene or a series of sequences that set in the past. However... The drama has also been known to play around with reality. Hmm. In the form of visions, hallucinatory sequences, it's entirely possible that Shane could return in the context as well. Alright guys, my thoughts on this new news and what I think is going to happen and what I would like to happen. Whew, it's a lot to digest. So, I read some articles and John Bernthal has been hanging out on the set of... The Walking Dead. They've been doing some filming. Just outside of Alexandria. Now, initially, as this was initially reported, some people were saying that, you know, this was just John Bernthal. He was in the area filming for The Punisher, one of his other shows that he's working on, and he just popped in and kind of hanging out with his old buddies. That's cool. But now it's being confirmed that he's, in fact, going to be in at least one episode of The Walking Dead Season 9. And... I'm going to be quite honest with you, I would like if they brought back Shane's character permanently. If they are going to kill off or write off Andrew Lincoln from the show, Rick's character is no more in the show, I just can't see how they are going to continue this show 
without Rick Grimes. This is Rick Grimes' show. And I don't feel like any of the characters that are on there are strong enough to lead the show. There's just I don't see Daryl stepping up and being in that role. Daryl just kind of mumbles a little bit. He's he doesn't he's a man of, of, of small words. He's a simple man. I just I just don't see how Daryl could lead this group. Um, I don't see Michonne stepping up. She's got other projects she's working on. Carol is a really interesting char character, but how could Carol? Carol's crazy. I mean, Carol's been crazy for freaking many episodes, many seasons. I don't see how Carol can step up. There's just nobody in this show on the level of Andrew Lincoln, okay? Now, John Bernthal, though, John Bernthal's got experience leading a TV show. He does an amazing job with The Punisher. Um, I've, I'm not a fan of The Punisher. I've seen little bits and pieces of a few of the episodes. I've got friends that are, you know, huge Marvel fans. They love The Punisher. They told me all about it, said that he does an amazing job. Um, it's a really good show. Now, how interesting would it be if this was truly, like uh, Scott Gimple said, a new beginning for The Walking Dead? If Season 9 was a new beginning, kind of a throwback to Seasons 1 and 2. And what I mean by that is kind of like a semi-reboot, um, an alternative timeline, so to speak. What happens if Shane led this group instead of Rick? Something happened to Rick, and Shane is now the leader. If they were somehow able to write Shane's character into this story and bring him back in an alternative timeline where basically seasons two through nine after Shane died, or at some point when Shane was still alive, that timeline does not exist. And now we have an alternative timeline where Shane is the leader and not Rick. Now, Rick would still be in the story. He would just they'd have to explain what happened to Rick. And the easiest way to explain that, and we've kind of seen this in season eight, I've seen some of the episodes. There's been these scenes where Rick is basically, uh, you know, we see this old man, Rick, he's laying down in bed. He's got a beard. He's got like, you know, gray hair or whatever, and they've, it, it just never made sense to me why that was included in season eight. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe that's some foreshadowing to what's going to happen in the season. Maybe Rick has been in a coma since season two, but maybe that time period is not as long as we think. Maybe he's only been in a coma for a year, and in that time period, um, Shane has been leading the group. And they manage to get to Alexandria or somewhere, some new place, or whatever. And we see all new characters. Um, Rick comes to you from his coma, and we realize that all that stuff that we've seen at this point does not exist. This is a new timeline. It's a new. It's a new beginning. It's a new chapter in The Walking Dead. It's. It, I think it'd be really cool. Let's end this story arc. Let's end what's happened. It's still a, a great story. We all enjoyed seasons. You know. One through one through eight, but now we're starting a new chapter of The Walking Dead with Shane leading, and I think that's really cool because we saw the struggle in season two between Shane and Rick, and the control of the group. Rick thought that he was a better leader than Shane. Shane thought that Rick was too soft and wasn't going to be able to protect Lori, Judith, and Carl. And they're all dead, except for Judith, which I find to be fascinating because Judith is Shane's kid. So it makes sense to me. I mean, you could draw the lines to this. We could see the show continue with Judith's character now, kind of like in the place of Carl. So we saw Rick, you know, looking for this future for Carl. Carl's now dead. There's no purpose for Rick anymore. And now we see in this new story, this new timeline, we see Shane's character that never died. All new characters, we still can keep Daryl, Carol, all the ones we've loved, but this alternative timeline, we see Shane's character getting to raise Judith in this new community, um, and just we can kind of get caught up with what's been happening in this, you know, in this time lapse between season two and where we're at now. And like I said, this could be a shorter time lapse, so between two, season two and when Rick wakes up from his coma, maybe it's only been less than a year. Who knows? 
maybe Carl died. Carl, basically Carl, some of these other characters died. Now, they could kind of explain it where maybe, um, you know, Shane never died. Something happened to Rick. He went out, you know, they went out scavenging or something, and, you know, Rick got injured. He's been in a coma. Um, they could they could write into this little, you know, a couple episodes, explain kind of what happened to some of the characters, what happened to Lori, what happened to Carl. They died. Rick doesn't even know it yet, so he wakes up. He thinks that everything that he's seen in his dreams and what's been going on in his head, it's all never happened. Um, I know it's kind of a far stretch because it seems like it's just a lot of stuff for, for Rick to be thinking about while he's dreaming, but when you're in a coma, you never know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be really cool. And we could just pick up with John Bernthal being the lead. Um, you know, I think the other characters could take a stronger role kind of to support Shane's character, but oh, that would be awesome. And I think you could still, if they didn't want to kill off Rick, uh, maybe he gets kicked out of the community. Maybe Shane's just like, I'm tired of dealing with Rick. Um, they have a feud after after Rick comes from his uh, comes from comes up out of his coma. Rick wants to take over again, and Shane's not going to have it. So Shane's been leading this group. They all are, you know, basically in support of, of of Shane. And you know, Rick Rick can't handle it. He gets kicked out of the community, and that's how Rick's character character ends. Um, I don't know. Somehow, if they were able to somehow keep his character open, I'd, I'd be okay with that. This probably ain't going to happen. This is kind of like my wish list for The Walking Dead if they were to continue. I just don't see how this show can continue without Rick unless they brought back a, a, a key key character like John Bernthal as Shane. That would be phenomenal. I would watch the show for that. I think it would be really cool to see what would it be like for Shane to, to run the show. It would be so badass to have seen Shane up against Negan or Shane up against the governor. Man, that would have been badass. Um, anyways, guys, that's my thoughts on The Walking Dead and the state of The Walking Dead. I just think that, you know, it's, it's if you think back at it and the way that Rick has handled himself all these seasons, you know, he's, he's all about morality, doing the right thing, and I think Shane kind of walked on the fringe of, you know, what's right and what's wrong. He understood that in this day, in this zombie apocalypse, you can't always be the good guy. And we've seen how Rick tries to always do the right thing, even when it's like not the right choice. Even when it could hurt somebody, even with doing the, sometimes doing the right thing could get somebody killed. And I think Shane realized that. And it'd be cool to see what would it be like now with Shane being a leader. You might have some more darker characters, you know? Um characters that are kind of like Shane that are a little bit on the corrupt side maybe they walk the line of, of, of doing the wrong thing but maybe it's in the interest of keeping everybody safe um, so it'd be just a different style of a show and I think that'd be really cool but anyways guys those are my thoughts on this new uh, news that's been released about you know John Bernthal returning to The Walking Dead more than likely my <laughs> there's probably a, a, a no shot in hell that you know, what I've envisioned for season nine is going to happen, more than likely. They're going to take the cheap route. They're going to sign him on for one episode. He's going to be in flashbacks or in hallucinations, probably when Rick dies or something happens to Rick. That's when they're going to bring in uh, Shane as John, uh, John Bernthal Shane. But it would be really cool to have him as a character. I think that would really make it worthwhile for people to continue watching The Walking Dead. I mean, just... When Rick dies, that's that's the end of the show for me. That's it. I can't I can't continue watching it. Um, I I I would be really hard pressed to to to, to uh, I'd be really hard pressed to say that it's going to continue anything. It's going to continue on pr much longer after this. I think when Rick leaves, that's the end of the show. I don't see many people. The ratings are going to freaking they're going to plummet. Um, and that's it. I mean, that, you Daryl. I, I'm as much as I like Daryl's character. He's not going to be able to lead The Walking Dead. It's just not going to happen. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts on this new news, John Bernthal returning. I know I've rambled on for a while now, but I wanted to share my thoughts on it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit me with a thumbs up if you liked this video, if you thought I had some good ideas. Um, drop me a comment in the comment section. What do, you th what do you think about what I envisioned for Season 9 and moving forward? Is that a cool idea? Does that sound like something they could possibly do? Um, 
hit make sure you are subscribed to my channel I said this before I, I would appreciate any support that anybody can give me I'm trying to grow my channel and I'm, I'm wanting to you know talk to people that are like-minded like me so hit the subscribe button for future content and uh, until next time guys take it easy